Among them, Dubrov and Wu. But it's here in Dean, Buckley, Vanzenko, Dubrov, Wu, Harrison Murray, and De Kasteka of Belgium. Swimmer to watch, Dennis Dubrov goes in lane four. But he'll be challenged by Benoit Wu. Going in lane five, a 19-time Paralympic medalist, a nine-time champion, the Canadian. Vanzenko well, of Ukraine will expect a challenge as well. Ian Silverman of the United States, Paralympic champion of four years ago and uh, the reigning world record holder. 4.03. But the swimmers that go sub 4.10, Dubrov and Noor should be the two swimmers who could post those sort of times. And they'll go side by side in lanes four and five. Dubrov going off very nicely in what is his eighth and final event at Rio 2016. He's already picked up six medals, including three golds, two silvers and a bronze. Harrison Murray of Australia gets off to a very fast start while Benoit Wu is just biding his time going in lane five. He's looking to settle and he is as experienced as they come. Somebody who's been around on the international scene since 1998. The man they affectionately call the shark for his ability underwater. Well, Benoit Wu only touched a sixth fastest overall, but all the swimmers have gone out relatively hard. All seven touching and under. 20 uh, under uh, 29 and a half seconds for the opening 50 here but Dennis Dubrov is leading the way with uh, the Australian Harrison Murray as they edge towards the opening 100 Dubrov will fancy his chances he's already swum a 408 this season while Lua already a 409 this season and now aside from Harrison Murray the next six are virtually in a line only here in Dean, just falling off the pace now on the turn. And Dubrov is starting to make a bit of a move in the second hundred. He is, and they did take it out extremely hard in the first 50. The second hit 50 was a lot more restrained. Almost all swimmers touching spot on the 32 second mark for that second 50 split. Harrison Murray extending himself just a little. Looks as though he's settled into a nice rhythm. The advantage isn't much though, and Dubrov as you say, just seemed to make a little bit of a move, although you get the sense very much that he's swimming well within his range at the moment, not pushing too hard because remembering to back up from a 400 heat to a 400 final on the same day is very taxing for athletes, even though this is what they train for. You really want to save your best for the final, of course. So Harrison Murray just starting to eke out a larger advantage here swimming strongly in lane six the last split was actually a little bit quicker 31 and a half seconds well Dubrov is known more as a sprinter and indeed has been uh, cleaning up medals at Rio 2016 he's only failed to medal in the one event that he has entered as well now makes his way up onto the shoulder of Dubrov and looks to be pulling into a comfortable second place. Harrison Murray is not tiring. The Australian, who's only posted a 4.14 already this season, is looking to go around about that time or even quicker in this first heat of two in the men's 400 free. But Dubrov, you've also got to ask questions. This is a, a long race to 400 free. And he is somebody who is swimming in his eighth event, having already won medals across the remaining or six of the other seven was only the hundred free in which he failed to medal when he was touched out of the wall he finished fourth overall but when you are swimming in seven events in the space of seven days it can prove very taxing on the body and this is one of those races where the distance in itself is a little taxing but Dubrov looks fine and he and Huo are making their move on Harrison Murray now and that stroke is really shortening by the Australian he's going to be caught before the 350 meter split you imagine he is that length of the pool was particularly telling because it looks as though the Canadian and the Ukrainian just have so much in reserve so we're talking about how packed a program can be and how taxing that can be on the athletes well, the other tactic, of course, is to just bide your time early in the 400 and just use a bit of kick when needed. And looking at Harrison Murray's time there, that 
turn at the 350, he was actually a full second and a half slower than his previous splits. And now he's just dropped off the pace. It won't trouble him too much. He may well have done enough to qualify for the final, but it will be Dubrov. So Dubrov ahead of Ua will touch at the wall with uh, Harrison Murray of Australia touching third fastest in a uh, personal best for the Australian, a 4.11.54. But a 4.10 and a 4.10.30 and a 4.10.58 for the two who are expected to finish 1-2. Dubrov ahead of Ua. They controlled the race in their own way from the middle lanes. They didn't allow Harrison Murray to get away. And Harrison Murray slowing up in the closing legs after going out in 31s for the opening 300. Suddenly came home in 33-42 over that last little bit. Struggling to maintain the sort of uh, speed that he had. Whereas Uo and Dubrov managed to uh, swim faster back ends than opening it. So negative splits by the two who finish 1-2. And Dubrov touches ahead of...